Hi YouTube, it's Talia here, your vegan amiga, and I am back once again with another lunch, very delicious lunch, might I add. It is a vegan pasta salad that I made really quickly, it was super easy, but it is so good. We've got some cucumber in here, tomatoes, red onions, olives, black olives, um, I said cucumber, right? Yeah. Cucumber, celery, veganese, um, which is mayo, like the vegan mayo, um, <clears throat> regular yellow mustard, Dijon mustard, apple cider vinegar, lemon juice, pepper, red pepper flakes. It sounds like a lot, but it really takes no time at all to put it together. And it's honestly one of my favorite things to eat ever. I love pasta salad. I've loved pasta salad even before I was vegan. Potato salad, egg salad, like I loved all those delicious, like mayonnaise-y, <laughs> um, you know, just like the picnic sides type of meals, you know, type of foods I should say. So I'm very excited about this. It smells so good and I've already eaten like a little bit. So let's just dig right in Ooh. oh and i have a little bit of tabasco on the side because i love the like vinegary spicy taste of tabasco with pasta salad and egg salad any type of salad even when i make my chickpea salad which is supposed to be kind of like a vegan tuna salad tastes so good with it so here we go let's dig in first bite i got a lot of noodles i always tend to make it with a lot of noodles and not as many um other ingredients like veggies and stuff um but i honestly i don't mind it that's fine <laughs> okay let's have the first bite mm -hmm. it's so good it's so simple but so good I really didn't give it uh, a lot of time in the fridge to kind of cool and um, get all the flavors, you know, melding together, but it still tastes really, really good. I do not mind it at all. Uh, I couldn't wait. Hmm. I worked out this morning. I wasn't going to do it. I was like so tired this morning. I didn't really sleep well last night. Woke up and I was still kind of like, hmm, should I do it? Should I not? Just decided to just, might as well, why not? And my camera's dying, yay. So, long story short, I ended up going to a spin class. And it was the first time I've ever seen it completely packed. Like, there was not even one spin bike left for the instructor. Like, he was walking around <laughs> telling us what to do and, like, checking our um, RPMs and stuff. It was so funny, I was like, I've never seen ever in my whole years of going to spin in any studio have seen <laughs> even the professor, not a professor, even the instructor not have um, a bike, you know? Cause it was just that full, I was crazy. I feel like they overcrowd the class because, or maybe people don't sign up and then to show up thinking they could do that. I don't know because there were still people trying to come in and work out. But there were no bikes left so they couldn't, you know. It was crazy. I was like, whoa. I, I'm assuming probably people just show up without signing up. scared my camera's gonna die because it's flashing at me Ugh. and I don't have another battery so I'm gonna have to wait till it charges <laughs> mm. so good fun fact I actually hate celery it is my least favorite food in the entire world. 
don't know if I mentioned it. I feel like I've talked about it so much to like my friends and family and stuff, but I never, I don't know if I've said it on here. Um, but basically I, there was a project, it was in first grade is where I got scarred for life. There was some kind of project we were doing, I think it was a science project, and it involved eating celery for some reason, like a lot of celery. I don't know why, maybe it was supposed to be, I'm assuming it was supposed to be over a long period of time of eating celery, you know, but I for some reason like fast tracked it and decided to do it all in one night. So I just got really sick of celery and I was like throwing up, it was just really bad. So ever since then, I have hated celery, but I still will eat it in things, like I won't eat it by itself, I'm not that type of person to do like a ant on a log, like ooh, with peanut butter and no if it's in things I'm not gonna pick it out and I'm not gonna ask for things without celery you know I'll even like drink celery juice which sounds weird like if you really didn't like celery you wouldn't drink celery juice right but I've gotten better there were t I really there were times where I was like I cannot eat like I would pick it out of corn chowder and I would go to Mimi's cafe I love their corn chowder so much and I would pick it out mmm but not anymore I like the crunch. I might be starting to like it, which is cool. Okay, I'm back. My camera did indeed end up dying, so I had to charge it for like 30 minutes. But I am, I didn't take, okay, I, I took one bite <laughs> while I was waiting. But besides that, I haven't touched this. So let's get back into it. So good. It probably cooled down since it was out, just sitting here. Mmm. And the good thing about vegan mayo is that there's no dairy in it, so you can leave it out if you want to. I mean, I'm sure it's not great for you to do that. It probably affects the flavors and stuff, maybe. I don't, I don't know. But it's not like regular mayo that has dairy where it... Or does it have dairy? No. It's egg. I always think mayo has dairy because it's white and creamy. That's what she said. Um, hmm. Mayo's just egg and oil, right? Well, whatever. You still can't leave that egg out anyway, so. Right? Now I'm second guessing myself. Anyways. Mmm. -hmm. This is really good. Put some Tabasco. Mmm. So many noodles <laughs> compared to the veggies. <laughs> It's fine by me though. That is fine by me. Oh, what was I saying before? My camera shut off. I think I was talking about how I hate celery. And just explaining it. Basically, I just ate too much at one time, which I feel like that's normally why people stop liking things. Is because they have too much of it at one time and then they get sick of it and they can't even look at it anymore. Like when people, when women get pregnant and they have cravings for things and they eat it a lot during their pregnancy after their pregnancy they can't like even look at those things or smell them or see them you know so that's me with celery not as bad as it used to be but yeah not my fave I did get an A, or I got a gold star on that project, so I think it was worth it. I scarred myself for life, but I got a gold star on one project in first grade, so who really won here? I think it was me. I didn't mention, but I have my coffee here. It's cold now too, but that's okay. Ah, so good. 
all good. I didn't put creamer. I ran out of my creamer. So today I just used oat milk and chocolate chips and I micro them microwave them together so that it could like the chocolate chips could melt into the milk and make like a chocolate milk. Or kind of like a chocolate milk with creamer, I guess. And then I add cinnamon and I use my little hand blender to blend it up and make it all frothy. And it tastes really, really good. Not very sweet, but I like it. I think sweet things are another thing that I had way too much of at one point or during a long period of my life actually. Um, and now I just can't have too much sweet at one time without needing something salty or without like just needing to stop eating it, you know? Mm. It's like when Sean and I first started dating, I was like obsessed with candy and Slurpees. Um, Every time I'd go over to his house, he had a 7-Eleven near it, so I would stop there and get a bunch of candy and Slurpees and everything and come over and Coke, because I love Coke. Um, yeah, I think I just overdid it, because now I still love sweets. Like, I really generally do, but I'll eat some. Like, I'll eat a few bites, and then I'll be so... I'll feel sick, you know? Mmm, Dunkin' Donuts. Their coffee is so sweet. I put like three or four pumps. It's like the nat the normal amount, and it was just every time I'm like, oh, I forget to ask because I don't usually go to Dunkin'. I go to like Starbucks. Oh my god. Oh, really sweet for sure. I was hungry and I can tell I ate really fast. <sighs> I was trying to do this video without cutting it, but I'm gonna have to cut it at some points because there's just too much noise in the background. And Dallas is just jumping around everywhere and panting. He just probably ran so much outside barking. Dell, come here. Come here. I am actually getting full though. And I want to save some of this for later. Dear God. Okay, there's just a lot of distractions. So I'm gonna wrap this up because I'm getting to that full point anyway, so might as well. Sometimes I just can't stop eating this because it's so good. Oh. I also didn't really follow a recipe. No, I didn't follow a recipe at all this time. I usually do. The window's open, I forgot. So that was loud. I usually do follow a recipe. But this time I was like, eh. I barely had any veganese anyway. And so I just used what I had and then kind of just eyeballed everything and then tasted it and added what I wanted and you know so very easy to do all right I'm done
all right guys thank you again so much for watching please like and subscribe if you like what you see here and please also comment below what you liked about this video any constructive criticisms anything you'd like me to eat next um and i will see you in the next video thank you bye